Uh, did you mention, did you just say your father played for the Rangers? He did. It was the he retired with the Rangers in ninety four, maybe. So wait a minute. Is your dad the Gary Reedus that I thought was? Yes. I see, I didn't know that. Oh, see, I thought that that's what you were putting together. No. <laughs> I just thought it was no. Now just see now that makes this that makes news. this even better now. Breaking that news. makes this even better. That's amazing. Yes, that's, that's my even man. better. That's awesome, no, man. see, I was just, I was like, no, nah, that's just somebody totally. Di- I thought you were just somebody totally different, and I'm like, oh, oh I you don't thought care. I was just a random person, so you were just a like a random person coming this on this. Is show. Awesome. A coach, now I no, get you. It. This he is coach, I'm like going, I said, well, it's not him, but he coaches at SMU and he's in Dallas. So I'm going to get him on because of Charlie. I'm like, well, I don't care. He's coaching. So, yeah, I had no idea of the connection. That's my dad. That was just, oh, my God. Man, oh, we're, we're going to finish the basketball up in a second and get to that. But. <laughs> you can finish the basketball. I mean, it's, 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 if you're a fan, I mean, ask all you want. I'm we, man, we're a sports show. I, I'm all that I'm is <laughs> that is so cool. We got what well, he broke in with his dad broke in with the Reds. Um right. and yeah, I was a big Reds fan. When I was like, when I was a little kid, they were it was the they were finishing up the big red machine. Uh, but they were still good, I think. 82, they would have still been good, but they got rid of a lot of their players. But uh man, yeah. Wow. I did not know that. What's it all right? What's it like growing up? Did did how did that influence your sports life? Uh I was so young when he played baseball that I don't even remember much of it. Like I can randomly remember certain things like eating what's the Bonanza bubble gum in the locker room yeah, with yeah. Pudge Rodriguez. <laughs> you know, we lived right across the hall from Juan Gonzalez and his wife. You know, those are the little things that I remember. Jose Canseco lived up the street. Billy Ripken, I didn't understand why he used to call my dad Red Dog because of the last name. So I used to call him Blue Dog. But I didn't under, you know, <laughs> these are little things that I, I didn't even understand. I was a kid. I was really, really young. Uh, it influenced me to to play sports. I don't think, I don't think it was him. I think he influenced my older sister who played basketball at the University of Alabama, and she was really, really good in softball. It's a running joke in our family that I'm the third best athlete in the family, <laughs> and I am, and I hate it, but it's. My dad is my sister, and then it's me. Reggie Miller is. A, he always says he's the second best player in his family. What'd you say? Reggie Miller always said he was grew up a second best player in his family. It happens, man. It and happens. he didn't have a brother, so. <laughs> yeah. Now, Gary, question for you: Did you grow up watching your sister play? Yes. Now, and, and she's older than you. Is that? Yeah. Now, that to me, I mean, similar story. Like I grew up watching my older sister play. She played basketball at the University of Miami. I, I'm from Miami, Florida. Mm. And that was a big influence on me because I, I way more than I imagined. Man, when I, she played softball. She played volleyball. She played everything ball. It was mm. because of her I wanted to play basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can only imagine if you have a vague remember of your dad playing baseball but watching your sister directly play influenced you, your decision to play ball, basketball, right? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to play basketball strictly because of her. I wore the same number. There you go. There you go. I went to all of her practices. Same story for me, man, my sister. Wow. I wanted to coach women's basketball because I love women's basketball and, like, being around it growing up, like, with her. Nice. That's amazing. That's amazing that it put you into the coaching aspect on that side because – and Brian says, uh, coming in so late, but uh, congrats – for the Reds sweeping the Cardinals this weekend, I saw that. So there we go. What, what great timing is that? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's because the women's side is so different. I mean, and, uh, or not so different, but it is a different style uh, than the men's. There's Everything's different. Recruiting is different. Uh, everything is different. Doesn't make it anything other than just different. Um, yeah. And it's been so long on the women's side. Women, for women – I, I think that there are certain programs that can dominate a lot easier for a lot longer, and it's getting different now. It's starting to spread out. That parity is starting to – I mean, I'll use Indiana as an example. Indiana was a top eight team last year. Indiana is not – that's not women's side. That's not a custom for them. Um, so now you're starting to see that game spread out. It's not just UConn, Tennessee, Baylor, South Carolina. Hell, Indiana beat South Carolina a uh, year before last. Um, so uh, SMUs, it is starting to spread out and 
it's the same with the men's side, really, Charlie. I mean, it used to be the Indiana, Duke, Kentucky, right. and all that. Well, now it's boom. That parody is just out the door. Uh, but women's side, it just makes the game more fun to watch, and the women are getting better. Again, I'll use Indiana. Look at Indiana's team. Man, they got Grace Berger, Allie Patberg, all those really, really good players. And that's it's that's it's fun to watch anything when you have good players. Shout um, out to Terry Morin. That that's that's my girl. She coached my wife in college at Georgia Tech. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Shout out to her. Hey, six degrees of separation everywhere, man. Man. Yeah. You, Which, you, what's you your wife's that? name? Wow. Tiffany Blackman. Where does she coach her? At Georgia Tech. That is crazy, man. At, at, uh, and we have a kid here at SMU that just graduated from Indiana, Kiana Worthen. She was a, a grad transfer from, from Indiana, so we're glad to have her here. Playing, wow. playing for you? Mm-hmm. That's it, crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's wild on these like, things. Right on time, man. This is like. <laughs> and I used to train with with AJ. AJ is my guy. AJ wow. is one of my really close friends. AJ has been on quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Great, great guy. I mean, so wow, from, this is blowing my mind. You're from Illinois, Chicago area? Or? No, I, I'm from Decatur, Alabama. There but I went up to train while I was still playing ball. Uh, I went up to train with AJ for mm. three, four months, and I played on his semi-pro team. There you uh, go. I thought, and crazy story, I thought that I was going to Bloomington, Indiana. <laughs> Not Bloomington, Illinois. <laughs> I was going to Bloomington, yeah, yeah, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know until the night before I was oh. leaving. And so that added an extra, like, four hours on my drive. Yeah. Oh, like, wow. Yeah. And it was okay, so, so you, it was, so was you played when AJ was head coach of, of the team, you, that's when you worked out with them? Yes. There we go. Yes. There we go. Yeah. He, and his brother, Daniel, was on the Daniel. team, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. team was that, Charlie? I, 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 it was it was the IBL. What was the league? Bloomington uh, Flex. Yes, the Flex. That's right. The Flex team, yeah. You guys won a championship, right? Is that? Mm -hmm. they won, yeah, they won a championship. Yeah, we, never we, we never lost. We never lost. That's how AJ was cheating or <laughs> what was going on. Our team was entirely too – our team was really, really good. I, I didn't – Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. We really, I remember really that. Good. Yeah, I remember he that. wasn't cheating yeah. then. He was yeah. stretching the boundaries of That's acceptability, right? right? right. There was something going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Gary, to give you a, a heads up, that was my roommate. Uh, I played at IU, and, and, and that was my roommate my senior year. AJ was a junior. So wow. we were we were together um, all – you know, year long, my senior year, 97, 98. Right. I'm going to have to get, see if I can get AJ on Friday. And yeah. if I can, I'm going to yeah. get Gary Reedus back on Friday too. And not tell, and not tell him. And not tell I'm him. Pop him <laughs> in and say, oh, oh, we got an extra special guest here. That would be oh, hilarious. Uh, if this gets by, he doesn't see this on right. social media or something this week, but right. uh, that, that would be hilarious. I, I'm getting blown away here by these, all these connections that continue uh, to happen. See, that's why I went ahead and did it, even though not knowing, I just said, you know what? I think it's going to be good anyway. And it is exceeded uh, anything I could have thought of. <laughs> so what, what's your ultimate goal now? Do you want to stay down there? Or, or of course, everybody wants to be a head coach, which coaching is a transient job, which that right. part of it is what sucks because you build roots and relationships in an areas, and that's kind of where you'd like to stay. But in Texas, you probably have a lot better chance of staying in the state, at least, uh, with the job. But are you ready to travel everywhere and do all that stuff? I don't really have a, a particular place that I would like to live, that I would like to coach. Like you said, I would like to be a head coach one day. Uh, where? Doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm flexible right now. My wife doesn't like that I'm so flexible. She would like to to get somewhere and sit down. She Because she lived in Atlanta for so long, she loves Dallas, and she would love to stay in a big city for as long as we can. She's she's trying to coerce me into getting out to USC or UCLA or something <laughs> like that soon. Uh, but I'm open. I'm open to kind of wh wherever I'm going, uh, just kind of where I, I've learned to stop trying to, like, place expectations on – where my career takes me and just kind of enjoy the ride. Yeah. As long as you have your, you know, your, 
the first person you need to recruit on board with that, which is your wife. I think that's important, right? Because um, that that's, you know, hey, hey, look, you know, I want to talk about SMU because you're at SMU, but you have to be open if an upward mobile opportunity comes about, but you also have to be flexible and ready. And that's the first person you got to recruit, you know, is, is her. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already recruiting. I'm already working on her. Yeah, yeah. Preparing yeah, her for I mean, a couple of years down the yeah, line, like yeah, we may be on the move. Yeah. And especially while our kids are so young. Yeah. 